Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. I'm Tara from Living a Happier Life. I hope you had a great weekend and you're all safe and healthy. Welcome to Monday Motivational Minute. As we are stuck in what seems like day 6,347 of this pandemic, I hear a lot of people have the same struggles as I do. We lost our jobs due to COVID, we are stuck in our homes, and we are getting lazy. Snacking and napping has become the new norm, and we quickly find ourselves getting bigger around the belly and breathing a little bit heavier. However, if you're anything like me, exercise is not enjoyable, which makes keeping any type of exercise routine very challenging. The prospect of day after day full of lunges, squats, burpees, push-ups, pull-ups is very daunting. Even saying it is daunting, and it's not the way that most of us are going to keep in shape. Instead, many of us have to trick ourselves into exercising and staying healthy. You may think it's difficult to deceive yourself. It really isn't. Let me explain. Your subconscious brain controls a lot of our actions. Consciously, you know you need to get up and get active. But your subconscious brain pipes up and says, Nah, you're comfortable right where you are. Why change anything? This part of your brain changes. fears change and will always try to keep you stagnant. Motivated and active people just ignore this voice and get up and do whatever, but some of us just can't help but to listen. So we have to be a little bit more tricky and deceptive. Here's one trick I play on myself. I play music a lot, especially when I'm restless or cleaning. When my favorite songs play, it's instinctive for me to dance, even if I'm not much in the mood for dancing. Dancing to music is an automatic response, so my subconscious brain doesn't register it as exercising. Or, how about this one? Are you a rule follower? Make yourself rules to make yourself work harder. For example, I have a bathroom on my main floor and one on my second floor. My new rule is that I can only use the bathroom on the second floor, to which I added another rule that if I go to the second floor, I also have to go to the third floor. So multiple times a day, I'm doing stairs just by going pee. Rules you can make yourself could include not eating after eight, being the one who takes the dog for a walk, drinking water every day, really anything that keeps you healthy. Of course, not everyone is a rule follower. If not, I bet you have a competitive streak. Why not challenge yourself? Set yourself up with a few 30-day challenges. One of mine is I've challenged myself to use my five pound weights every day for five minutes. People are generally quite competitive, so even if you're only competing with yourself, it could be quite still quite effective. The best way, however, to fool your brain is to do something active that you love to do. Spring is coming up. You'll be able to go outside and do some gardening soon, or even go, go out white, walking or hiking. Or how about dancing or doing yoga or tai chi? Don't forget about playing with your kids, running with your dog, or even rearranging your cupboards and furniture. If you can find activities that you really enjoy doing, is it really exercising? When this finally this pandemic is over, there will be so many changes to adjust to. If you are able to keep yourself active, ideally out of all these challenges you will have to face, a bunch of weight gain will not be one of them. Love and gratitude, stay healthy and happy, have a great week.